more Netflix, more chill. Don't waste time choosing a movie. Welcome to the sweeping sands and the unforgiving landscape of Arrakis. Before we delve into the heart of our topic, here's a little trivia for you. What connects a 1965 science fiction novel to a groundbreaking film achievement over half a century later? Keep watching to uncover the answer and to understand why Dune, Part 1 deserved every single Oscar it received. Dune, Part 1, directed by Denis Villeneuve, is a cinematic masterpiece that has captured the imagination of audiences and critics alike. But what makes it so deserving of its accolades? Let's start with the source material. Frank Herbert's Dune is not just a book, it's a phenomenon. It's a rich tapestry of politics, religion, ecology, and human emotion, all set in a distant future that feels as real as the ground beneath our feet. The novel's depth is matched only by its complexity, which has made it a notoriously difficult work to adapt for the screen. Yet, Villeneuve's vision brought this intricate world to life with a fidelity and grandeur that few thought passable. The film's visual effects are not just impressive, they are transformative. They transport us to the desert planet of Arrakis, with its towering sand dunes and monstrous sandworms. The visual storytelling is so immersive that you can almost feel the grit of the sand in your mouth and the scorching heat on your skin. But Dune is not just a feast for the eyes. The sound design is a character in its own right. From the hunting score by Hans Zimmer to the bone-rattling thump of the sandworms, the auditory experience is as integral to the film as the visuals. It's a symphony of sound that enhances every moment, every whisper of the spice-laden wind. The production design and costumes are yet another layer of the film's excellence. They are not just outfits and sets. They are the embodiment of the cultures and peoples of Herbert's universe, the still suits, designed to preserve every precious drop of moisture on a planet where water is more valuable than gold, are a marvel of imagined functionality and aesthetic. They tell a story of survival and adaptation in a harsh world. And let's not forget the performances. The ensemble cast brings a range of characters to life with such nuance and intensity that they feel like they've stepped right out of the pages of the book. Timothy Chalamet's portrayal of Politreets is a journey of transformation, from a young man burdened by destiny to a leader forged in the crucible of Arrakis. Now, for the hardcore fans, there are gems scattered throughout the film that pay homage to Herbert's original work. The attention to linguistic detail, the Bean Gesserit's use of the voice, the subtle political maneuverings, and the ecological undertones are all there. These are not just Easter eggs. They are the threads that weave the fabric of Dean's narrative. So, why did Dune, Part 1 deserve all the Oscars it got? Because it's a film that respects its source material while daring to envision it on an epic scale. It's a film that pushes the boundaries of what science fiction can look like on the big screen. It's a film that honors the complexity of human emotion, set against a backdrop of cosmic struggle. And now, as we reach the end of our journey through the dunes, let's circle back to our trivia question. What connects the 1965 novel to the film's success? The answer is vision. Frank Herbert's vision of a future that speaks to our present, and Dennis Villeneuve's vision of bringing that future to life in a way that resonates with audiences today. If you've enjoyed this deep dive into the world of Dune and the reasons behind its cinematic triumph, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing for more content like this. Your support helps us continue to explore the intricacies of film and the stories that captivate us. Thank you for watching, and until next time, may your days be filled with dreams of Arrakis and the spice that flows within it. Goodbye, and remember, the mind is the universe's greatest weapon. If you enjoyed this video and want to support two big movie enthusiasts, please smash that subscribe button. Also, if this video helped you, please again smash the like button. We would love to hear your opinion on this movie, so please leave a comment as we are very curious to hear your take. If you decided to watch the movie, please come back and let us know how you liked it. Furthermore, if you have a friend that needs to watch this movie, please feel free to share the link. Thank you for your support and see you soon.